Pen Live was one of the first to break this story, so everything I'm saying is coming from the Pen Live article. If you'd like to read the entire article, I will have the link to the article down below in the description. So Anthony Donato III and his son were at Hershey Park just having a fun day at Ryan some roller coasters, and they decided to run the Storm Runner of June of 2018. Mr. Donato says he and his son boarded the Storm Runner and got into the same car. Mr. Donato, the father, pulled down and secured his restraint, but his son was unable to. He said three ride operators who were supposed to ensure riders' restraints were fastened never checked his son's safety harness. Donato's restraint was already fastened, so he was physically unable to help his son. Without anybody checking his son's restraint, the ride operator released the brakes and set the storm runner onto its course. The attorney of the case, Christopher Fisher, left this statement for Mr. Donato. Mr. Donato was felt helpless, fully constrained within his seat under the secured harness and prevented from being able to physically help his son in any matter. Mr. Donato recalls hollering, wait, wait to the ride operators, but none of the employees did anything to stop the train from leaving the station and beginning the ride. Mr. Donato claims he could see the terrified look of panic in his son's face. In a panic, the son jumped from the car just as the coaster began to move. The employees still never stopped the ride, so Mr. Donato had to wait for the Stormer to fish in its course to be able to come back into the station to check on his son. As we all know, the Storm Runner is a launch coaster that goes from 0 to 72 miles per hour, so if this is true, this could have been a truly tragic incident. So as you can imagine, this is a ongoing lawsuit as we speak. A Hershey Park spokesperson has disputed the statements, so time will only tell what is going to happen next. As I said, if this is, happens to be absolutely true, this is awful news for all parties involved, not only for the safety of the guests, but the Storm's Runner future. The Storm Runner always already needs a new part on its own. If this happens to be true, the, the ride's complete safety system is going to need a new overhaul. This is going to be awful publicity for the ride, and the ride's existence as a whole could be put into question. As we all know, safety is always the number one priority, and if guests are not safe, Hershey Park's employees that were involved in this need to have the needed consequences and all sorts of other action needs to take place. Again, there's not much more we can do. We're just going to wait and see what happens. I saw I inform you all. With this ongoing lawsuit, I would not expect to see the Storm Runner open anytime soon. It's already closed for the season on its own, and this may just delay that date even further. I will continue to provide updates as the situation progresses, but as of right now, this is all the information we have. Again, all this is coming from PenLive. If you'd like to read the entire article, I will have the link in the description down below. That is all from this video. Make sure to stay tuned for the Hershey Act for everything Hershey Park related. I'll see you later, guys. Peace.